This is Zambia. Okay. The heart of Africa. Money, money, money. And now, from Lusaka's Crest Lodge in Ibex Hill, comes the Startup Quest reality show. Three young women, each starting their own business for the very first time, who will rise to the top and claim the 20,000 Quacha prize. You decide. Watch every Monday at 1900 hours on all major social media platforms. Tonight on the Startup Quest. My name is Adasa Chirwa. I'm 22 years old from Kitwe. My name is Nadi. Whoa! My name is Nancy Nandinguesa. No, I don't know the place. I'm looking for the makeup artist because it's my first time being here. As I'm working, I get to find the room where she is. I enter, I find her. We get to say hi to each other. Okay, this is all new to me, so... What do you want? Yeah. I love the way you shape the eyebrows. The eyebrows, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know why I should have to cut the love story. <laughs> yeah, I should have really beautifully be here. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that lazy. I'm smart, I know. I love the way she's done the makeup on me. So I can call you Nandi, huh? Yeah, or oh, Nancy. Oh, Nancy, I see. One thing I learned was never judge a book by its cover. Because the moment I saw her, I thought she was a cheeky girl. Yes, I Your business idea tackles a major challenge that we face today. You are dismissed. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> to advertise on the Startup Quest, call 0979360027. Meet Adasa, the copper belt baddie, an ordinary woman stepping boldly into the unknown. She knows nothing about starting a business. But today, she begins her journey. My name is Adasa Chirwa. I'm 22 years old from Kitwe. I'm a medical student. I'm excited about the startup quest. I am ready to learn the right way to start up a business and take the prize money. Yeah, I'm a little, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little. I hit the nail on the head, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Get it, get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'm a little. I got at the Crest Lodge in the morning. It's a beautiful place. Pasuma Wokishi, Gapuland. Pasuma, I'm walking in. It's super clean. I'm anxious because I don't cheat you. I got off my kid to say the Kuru Saga. Queen Machin to Chafina, and I'm going to finish it. So I'm walking. I don't know the place. I'm looking for the makeup artist because it's my first time being here. As I'm working, I get to find the room where she is. I enter, I find her. We get to say hi to each other. My experience with Adasa was great. I love her. I like her confidence. Yeah, it's rare that clients talk to you, you know? You look uneasy, what's up? You uncomfortable? With the nerves, everything in my head, the anxiety. She's <sighs> jump Get to know the contestants as they indulge in some girl talk with the makeup artist. I'm to come down. The makeup process with Adasa was 
easy. So I ask her to say, are you going to be the one doing it? Because And you doing my makeup for the first time. It's also giving me that, you know, tightness. But I think looking at your face, I can trust what you can do with my face. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I hope you'll be doing, you'll be the only one doing my makeup throughout. I hope so. I didn't take much time. She's pretty, she's pretty. So it was easy for me to do her eyebrows, her foundation. Her eyebrows were already shaped. So it was something fast, you know, pretty cute. And she loves pink, so I had to do a pink eyeshadow. She was good, she was good. I could tell with the way she gave me a welcome. At least that calmed my nerves a bit. At least the way she was doing it, I mean, so. I know, so yeah. She's from the Copper Belt. I love her hype. She talks too much, so we had to talk. We spoke about a lot of things. Yeah, but after talking to her, I did feel calm. I did feel calm. My makeup was done. No I don't know what I'm expecting for the show. Eh? I feel she is too confident and she needs to turn it down because this is a competition. And when you're too excited, and overconfident, you lose focus. It's more like you know it all. She should turn it down a bit and focus more on the um, competition. Meet Nettie, a student at Eden University in Lusaka, a novice to the world of business. Today, she steps her feet in what seems to her like the unknown deep waters of business. This will change her life forever. My name is Nedi. I'm 21 years old. I love keeping fit and I'm a student by Eden University here in Dusaka. I came on this show because I want to learn and grow my business. After the break on the startup quest. It gives me off a lot of things. Love related issues. Ah. I've been Osaka before, so she has never done makeup on me and I prefer doing makeup on my when a makeup artist is doing having on me, I feel I feel like I look different. She was a blank. I kept on asking her questions and but she didn't know what to respond to. I just hope she researches more. To advertise on the startup quest, call 0979360027. Nady is an interesting girl and she's cute, but she wasn't talking, so I had to ask her most of the questions. She seemed shy. I don't know, she was a little bit skeptical. Uh, she's cool. We had a very nice conversation. The conversation was flowing. What's up? You're so quiet. Do you like the makeup? Oh, yes. I really love this makeup. I love this part. That's the one so perfect. What exactly do you like with this part? I love the uh, way you shape the eye. Very brother. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so. Who inspired you to do makeup? Instagram videos. I watch a lot of reels there. Okay. Yeah. At least you get to learn a lot from the, the tutorials and teaches you step by step. Oh. And it's boring when you're doing somebody's makeup and they don't get to talk because it just makes the whole process boring. So I had to make her talk more and ask her if she liked the makeup or not. Yeah, after I asked her that question, she, yeah, she opened up, she spoke. Yeah. And I love 
doing makeup and this gives me a lot of it gives me off a lot of things love related issues ah, yeah my husband okay. and I really yeah. what happened yeah, I've been massacred before so uh -huh. it's makeup makes me happy at this when I'm doing it I'm happy and it gives me off Jeez, it, me. give me details <laughs> it's crazy don't tell me yes uh, let's talk about you Oh, I don't know why I should cut the love story. <laughs> I was enjoying the Nusaka thing, you know. But yeah, everything was perfect and it was cool. I love how makeup came out. What are you doing over there? I don't really know what to expect. Like, I'm expecting anything. I don't really want to feed my mind what to expect, but whatever comes, I'll take it. Oh, yeah. okay. But have you come up with any business idea? Not really. Am I supposed to? Not sure. They might give you or not. Can we find out? We'll find out, huh? Yeah, I'll just find out. Just hoping for a thing. Exactly. Yeah, she looks really beautiful. Thank you. Um, I think it was a good thing that she asked me about whether I was going to be bringing this business idea or it was going to be given it uh, guided. So it gave me a thing to think about it. Like, if I am to think about it, then I don't like thinking that much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that lazy. I, I'm smart, I know. I think she's an introvert. But since this is um, it's a competition, she needs to um, pull up her socks and be confident because she's going to meet different contestants. So she needs to be confident and it will help her. Meet Nancy, a social media influencer from Lusaka. Today, she dares to step beyond her comfort zone and into the world of business. The question is, will she make it? My name is Nancy Nandinguesa. I'm 20 years old. I'm based in Lusaka and I'm a socialite. I love making TikTok videos and spreading a positive vibe. I came to this show because I want to win the first prize. And not know why. Meeting Nancy was amazing. I love doing her makeup. I was a bit skeptical because she has never done makeup on me and I prefer doing makeup on my own because I feel like when a makeup artist is doing a ring on me, I feel I feel like I look different. Do you love your makeup? Very much. Very much? Yeah. It looks amazing, huh? Mm -hmm. I think I look cute. She looks good. What do you think you really like the most? The, uh, what you call this? The eyeshadow? Yeah, and the lips. Yeah, because it, it gives you a cut eye. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the way she's done the makeup on me. Yeah. She loved the makeup. She loved the eyeshadow. She loved the eyebrows. She loved everything. I get confused. Is it Nancy or Nandi? Her names were confusing because there's Nandi and Nancy. So I didn't know which one to call her. Well, any. Anything, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, but which one do you prefer? I don't have the preference, it's just, it, I think it depends with what you're comfortable with. So I can call you Nandi, huh? Yeah, or oh, Nancy. Or oh, Nancy, I see. That's actually great. She talks a lot, but I feel like she's kind. I don't know if she's kind to everybody or, or it's, if it's just me, I don't know. But she's kind to me, yeah. One thing I learned was Never judge a book by its cover because the moment I saw her, I thought she was a cheeky girl. You speak Bimba? Mm hmm. What's your name? Lala. Lala. Mm. I'm Lamba by tribe, but I don't know how to speak Lala. How come? I don't know. But what other, language can, what other languages can you speak Bimba. from? Only Bimba. Yeah. And Yanja. Yanja, I try. You try out? Yeah. Okay. Like out. 
But I like Nyanja. You like Nyanja? No, it's, it's great. I force myself. You push yourself. Well, that was best for you. Anyway, it's big five. It's Dunda, Lamba, Nyanja. You know all of those. Yeah, even I, even Chinese. But after talking to her, she is a good person. Yeah, that's, that's French. It's not French enough. And I enjoy listening to French music that I need to really understand. Yeah. You know. So what are the expectations of the day? I don't know. You don't have any idea. I literally not know what to expect. For real? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She was a little bit blank. Yeah, I kept on asking her questions and she didn't know what to respond to. I just hope she searches more and finds out whatever she's getting into. Wishing you all the best. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm wishing myself as well. Wishing yourself. Huh? Yeah. We nail it. To advertise on the startup quest, call 0979360027. Now it is serious business in the vault. Tonight, the contestants receive their business ideas. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning. Welcome to the vote. Thank you. I don't really know how to describe it, but I was just trying to make myself feel comfortable. It's dark. I don't even know the person I'm talking to. I just had mixed emotions about the place. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was anxiety or what. I don't know. But yeah, I tried to make myself feel comfortable. Over the next 11 days, you will need to visit the vote whenever required. Do you understand this? Yes, I do. Your business idea tackles a major challenge that we face today, the frequent power cuts in Zambia. By offering portable power stations, your business will help small businesses and individuals to stay productive even during power cuts. I was given an idea. That's portable power station. Yeah. Nancy? Yes. Do you understand this? Yes, sir. Good luck and congratulations on making it to the startup quest. I don't really know much about portable power station, but um, I will find out. I'm still learning. Uh, all I know is that you use it to charge phones. I'm a free engineer. I'm a TV. And that they are portable. That's all I know. All right, then. See you tomorrow. Thank you. So I made a video to my followers, hoping they'll watch me and watch the show. Hi, guys. It's your girl, Nancy Cute. I'm in a startup quiz. Don't forget to watch and vote for me. Thank you. Bye. And I hope they'll learn something out of it and join me through this journey while I learn more about portable power station. Meet Joyce a 21-year-old Bachelor of Social Work student at the National Institute of Public Administration and a talented makeup artist. Balancing academics with her passion for beauty, Joyce launched her makeup business back in high school, building a loyal clientele over the years. In this all-female contest at Crest Lodge, Joyce is our host makeup artist. 
the fly on the wall, the queen of girl talk. But her role goes beyond just makeup. Secretly, she's observing the contestants, watching their personalities, and assessing their business acumen, giving us an inside look at the ambitions driving this competition. Or is she? My experience in the plot, I was nervous, close-ish. Good morning, Nnedi. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Startup Quest. Thank you. You know, I just, it's just that energy and the atmosphere that you feel like, hey, where am I? What's going to happen here? Are you excited? Yes, I am. Do you think you have what it takes to win this competition? Definitely. Your business idea offers gas stoves as a key solution to help Zambians deal with power cuts. They are a cheaper and more eco-friendly option than charcoal, which is costly and damaging to the environment. But if successful, your business will help a lot of people. Do you understand? Yes, sir. My experience was good. Yeah. I mean, nothing bad happened. Just a bit of the news getting there. Great. You are excused for now. Thank you. Uh, I did the TikTok video, calling out for for more followers, more words, more views. Hi guys, it's our first day on our startup quest. Follow, like, and share my videos. The view was nice. I was a bit nervous, but I know my followers will understand. And with their support and the energy that I get from them to give me the strength and the courage to go on. Please make me win, guys. I love you. The Muromo, she she will turn there and agenda because it's super dark, and all I'm hearing is a voice. All I'm hearing is a voice. Good morning, Adasa. Morning. Welcome to the vote. Thank you. I didn't know what was the business idea. I'm going to go with it in there. If it was going to be given to me, or I'm supposed to think of it. So your business idea centers on solar solutions, providing a reliable and sustainable energy source for Zambians facing frequent power cuts. Okay. Solar is a clean, renewable option that reduces dependency on the grid while being environmentally friendly and cost-effective in the long run. With good effort from your side, this idea can open up opportunities for you. But I go in there and I'm instructed, say, the business idea that's there is the solar. A lot of you have a now is number. Geography, I'm great. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, you are dismissed. Anyway, after being given that business idea, I googled about it, I researched, 
and it's okay, you know, go I don't think it will be something hard. To a chef, to a chef, if you are a man, if to a chef, otherwise, to a woman, if you are a soul, because she should be. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, your Copa Labadi, and I'm in Lusaka on the Startup Quest TV reality show. So, guys, if one day for and if I am Muntambi, because now we should be going for me now, but I am a lack of time because I'm Kuntamba. I want you to comment, I want you to share the video, I want you to like the video. If you are feeling it twice, you are not sure, guys. Tight so mumbaf, let you be on go to and undead me for